Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a Tokyo Treats box that I purchased from Amazon. I did not subscribe. Um, so I got the box and I wanted to see what it was like, you know, before I would jump in with all my, with all my toes, you know. So let's go ahead and explore this box together. Now the interesting thing about this box is a pretty good size. First of all, it's a pretty good size which I'm very impressed about. And then what I really like is that it gives you a very detailed book on your snacks. See, they have all kinds of stuff in here. So it gives you a very detailed book about the snacks that you're about to explore. So let's do a very quick review. Let me open up my book here um, because I was thinking about you know, actually trying to um, subscribe, but I wanted to see what it was like first. So I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the items. I'm really excited because they have some, a lot of full size items. Look at this Kit Kat. This is a big old bag and it's in melon flavor. Melon flavor. I know, right? It is so different, but they have a lot of detailed information here. So let's, let's go ahead and I'm going to try to find the item so we can go through it together. Okay. The first thing I was able to recognize was this drink. So they do give you a drink in this box and this one's called Sangria. It is Subani orange filled with sweet juice of summer oranges. This refreshing drink will put a smile on your face any time of the year. Okay. So. There you go, Sabani. And should we go ahead and try it? Let me see if I could pop her open so I could try it. Okay, so I was able to open it up very easily. Oh, wow, there's like, there are chunks of orange in here. Mm. That tastes very nice, but there's chunks of orange in there. So if you don't like the pulp, it has pulp in it, but that is very nice. I like that. Okay. The next one is called Umi Sour Candy. Let me see if I could try to find the Umi Sour Candy. It has little faces on it. I think this is it down here. Yeah, this might be it. This might be it. Is this it? <laughs> this one's got little faces on it. It's got little faces. I'm trying to find the Umi Sour. I'm hoping my kids didn't get in didn't get into this because I've had this in my room for a while. And I'm hoping that they did not start digging in here. This one has like popcorn in it. That's not it, but I do recognize something here. So this is a fizzy grape Roman in the world of Japanese snacks. Fizzy soda flavored candy isn't just fun. It's fundamental. Summer is the best time to cool off with a Roman soda, but you can enjoy this flavored candy any time of the year. So this makes you a drink. That's pretty cool. And I don't know. It says suitable for vegetarians. Hmm. Very interesting. And this is grape flavor. Grape. Okay, so I found that one. Then I think I found another one. So this is um, Goyo Yo Yo Gum. This has a G. Goyo Go Yo Gum. This colorful gum comes in four flavors, green apple, purple grape, blue yogurt, or pink peach. Get the most out of your flavor journey by combining them. Sometimes they're the best flavors are the ones that you create yourself. So I'm not too sure what flavor did I, what flavor did I get. I'm not too sure what flavor I got. I can't tell, but I know my kids are going to enjoy that. And the packaging is just everything. Yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. The packaging is everything. And this drink is very refreshing. 
very refreshing and it's not like too sweet because even though it said it has some sweetness to it it's not too sweet that's actually really nice and then let me see if i can find oh here we go we got the um the umi sour candy so these mouth-watering puckering sour candies burst with umi plum flavor so this has a plum flavor Pop one in your mouth to get the taste of one of the cherry blossom season's most unique flavors. So I'm going to let my kids try this one out. So I'm going to put this one here. I'm sure they're going to enjoy that. Okay, so we found everything on this page. Booyah! That was everything on that page we were able to find so far. Let's go to the next one. So they also include a whole container of ramen. So this is the Mitu style Udon, okay? We're taking your taste buds straight to the birthplace of one of your favorite styles of Udon, Mito City. Light and flavorful dashi broth complements the thin Udon noodles topped with strips of fried tofu, green onions, bonito flakes, and wick wakame seaweed. Now my children like seaweed. Um, I had another box did I, I don't know if I shared, shared it with you guys yet or not. I think I did. It had seaweed and my kids ate the whole bag of seaweed and had like this crunchy topping to it and they loved it. So I know they're going to enjoy this, taste testing this one. Now I was talking to my daughter about these because she's familiar and she said normally this goes for about five or six bucks. So I was asking her, what was the price point for this? You know, versus she was like, yeah, it's right on, it's right on the nose for what you're getting. Yeah, because we don't have um any stores to go get these type of things in our area we just don't so i would have to get it through a box and then it talks about um different things here on the side of the himakokawa udon mimi udon and um kinchikan kusumi udon so it has different udons and it shows you exactly how to make it you see that very nice all right, the next page is, this is a corn pottage snack. So corn soup is so popular that during the winter time, you can get a warm can of soup from a vending machine, okay? Mild and creamy in flavor, these crunchy corn snacks are sure to satisfy. So this is like a little corn snack. You can look at the picture right there. Corn pottage. That's going to be an interesting one to try. You know what? Let me try it. Let me try it right now. I'm going to try something. They smell good. They don't smell bad. And this is what they look like. So they look like little round, little round pieces. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a potato soup in a little corn puff. <laughs> wow. This tastes like a like like a creamy potato soup with some herbs. Mm. And it has like just a little bit of a high. I don't want to say sour note because it's not sour, but it's good. It's actually good. I like that. That is so interesting. Mm. That was good. Okay. Then there's a mystery snack surprise. Which one did you get? Okay. So it says here, I got to use my phone. I have my phone right here. Let me see if I can get it to pull up. Let me see. What was my mystery snack surprise? I don't know if my phone's going to pull it up. Okay. I'm just trying to pull it up right now. Tokyo Treats Mystery Snack Surprise. Japanese Best Bites. So I'm supposed to have gotten... The Puka Puka Thai Lemon Tea. Let's see. Hmm. Let me see. 
I don't know if I got the Puka Puka Thai Lemon Tea. I got something here, but I don't know if that's it. And then, or you could have gotten Camera Dispenser. Lost Detective Candy. Oh, it's showing the different things that you could have had gotten. Okay. You could have gotten a whole bunch of different things. Okay, so I'm going to figure this out towards the end. Because you could have gotten a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so we're going to keep a truck in and then we'll figure it out later. All right, so there is a mystery candy. Then I really like the corn pottage that tastes like a uh, creamy but um corn corn and like potato soup to me and that's that high taste is the corn okay then there's a carry carry chemison all right carry chemison and it says these rice crackers are are flavored after japanese curry a winter dish beloved by young and old. Crunch into the sweet and spicy curry flavored goodness. Okay, so this is going to be spicy. So I'm going to leave this for my sons because they like spicy. I'm not going to do spicy with you guys right now. Because I don't think it'll turn out well. <laughs> I don't think it will. Then we have, we have Medea's Crackers. Simple yet addictive flavorful flavors can be just as satisfying and as complex. These lightly salted crackers have been snacking staple for over 50 years. Okay, so these are just some um, crackers that you can have. So that's always nice to have. This will be a nice snack just to keep here on my desk. Then they did include, oh my gosh. They got the Pocky Heartful Blueberry. So it's blueberry. It may not be the Pocky, the Pocky Day, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate these heart-shaped treats. The chocolate is flavor, flavored with juicy Japanese blueberries that were picked in the summer at the peak of ripeness. You won't be blue after a bite of these. <laughs> so Okay, we're going to try this. This we're going to try. Okay, so it comes like two packaged, and, and that's how they normally come, because I buy these. These are good. I've never tried blueberry ever in my life. I've never tried the blueberry. So let's see. Let's see if I can pull one out. Okay, so it looks like that. Hmm. Mmm, sweet. I can taste the blueberry. Mmm. And the crunchiness. The crunchiness of the cracker itself that is dipped in the blue blueberry. Wow, this is good. Okay, I got to leave this one out for my kids because I opened that, that one up. This is nice. That was nice, you guys. That was good. Hmm. Okay. And it talks about all the Pockies there if you want to read it. Then they have a Cola Candy Diamond Ring. This is like so my kids right here. So it's a Cola Candy Diamond Ring. Get ready to say I do to the flavor because your taste buds deserve the best. So this is just like, I guess, like a ring pop because it's a cola ring. And it looks like that. All right. And then we have some nori chips. We have nori chips. Where are my nori chips? Hmm. What do they look like? Here we go. This is a big old bag. This is nori chips, and this is a big bag. So it says, like ramen, yazo, and taco rice, some of the best Japanese food borrows flavors from other countries. Korean seaweed gives these chips a burst of sesame omani. Now that's some flavor, flavor fusion. 
Okay, so so this has seaweed in it, and my kids are going to love it, okay? Because they like the stuff with the seaweed, and that's their jam. That's their jam. There we go. I had it upside down. And it's a nice, a big old bag. They're going to really enjoy this. Okay, so that's this is for them. So then the next thing I see here is this one. And this is nice and big too. Pure Natural Apple Gummy. Fall for one of the best fall flavor apples. Made with the juice of freshly harvested Japanese apples, these soft gummies taste just like the real fruit. So again, this is something that would be my kiddos jam, you know, but it feels like it's um, resealable, which is nice. And it's a nice big container. So that's going to be great for them. This next one right here. I don't know if it's okay. It should be this way. This is the mini chocolate marshmallows. The soft and fluffy mini marshmallows go perfectly with the sweet milk chocolate. These little guys would be the perfect white day gift. All right. So these are just chocolate covered uh, marshmallows. So my kiddos are going to enjoy that. Then we have the Kit Kat Melon. So it says, break out your swimsuit in some shades. It's time to bite into a slice of summer. These white chocolate Kit Kats get their fruity flavor from the puree of high quality Japanese melon. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. Really nice, big packaging. And if you ever go on to Amazon or if you're looking for the different flavors, these unique different flavors from Kit Kat, they are not cheap. They're not cheap whatsoever. And I've always wanted to like, order one of those. They have this. I, I know. Man, I just busted this open. And they're small. And they'll sell you like seven of these for like 20 bucks. Okay. So I'm really excited about this. Let's see what this a melon Kit Kat tastes like. I've never had a melon Kit Kat. I am really happy with this box. I think I'm going to have to subscribe. I think I'm going to have to go online and subscribe. So they look like this. I just broke them open. They actually come together. I, I don't know. It's like I'm getting excited. So they come together like this. I already broke them apart. Okay. But they did come together. So they look like that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. They're so different. These are very, very, very good. White chocolate. The melon taste is not overwhelming. You could taste the white chocolate combination. And it's the sweetness is there from the from the white chocolate. But the melon just plays into it beautifully. Wow. I've never had one and these are good. I am very pleased. Oh my gosh. And then it gives you some other information and what have you there. Okay. And there you go. That was the whole box. So I really think all these are really cool. I love the fact that they have a lot of full size products compared to some other boxes that I got, they do have candy, but then they also have food. And that's what I like when I can get things that actually have food versus a candy, a whole box of just gummies or a bunch of sweets. I, I like to be able to taste things that, you know, are kind of more like on the food side, even if they're just crackers um, with different flavors. It's more of a foodie thing for me. And these are really good too, because these are not like candy. Um, these corn puffs that taste just like a soup. <laughs> it's, corn puffs that taste like a soup. It's crazy. Okay, so let me rate this box. 
let me rate this box and this drink is really good actually um i'm gonna rate this box out of one out of ten i'm gonna rate it a nine because if it had more foody style things like you know the way i like it i'd give it a 10 but as of right now it's something i can dig into and my kids and I wouldn't feel like, oh, wow, I'm just buying more stuff for them, but I'm not getting anything out of it. I feel like I'm getting something out of it as well. Yeah, so I would look forward to getting this box every month. I would actually look forward to it. So there you have it. Um, Tokyo, what's it called? Tokyo Treat Box. I really like it. So thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this visit, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.